Broadleaf weeds in soybeans are getting to be harder to control than ever before. How can this be? We've got Roundup Ready soybeans, we have Liberty Link soybeans, yet we're still having all these trouble with broadleaf weeds. What are we doing wrong? Well, I don't think it's that we're necessarily doing anything wrong other than not using a pre-emerge herbicide. So let's step back in history just a little bit. It wasn't that long ago, just 20 years ago, we really didn't have anything that was great at controlling broadleaves in soybeans. Yeah, we all, did. No, we didn't. Yeah, you and me walking <laughs> yeah. and pulling them. That's exactly, we what, was, that's exactly <laughs> what was happening. <laughs> is either we were out there pulling weeds or we were squirting Roundup on them uh, going through with a bean rider. But I mean, we had products like Bassagran and Blazer and Cobra and I, they were okay. Well, they but, hit some weeds. <laughs> yeah, but just not very good. <laughs> so then Pursuit came along and Pursuit was great for just a few years until weed resistance developed. Then with Roundup, when we went to Roundup, well, that was great, and now what's happening? We're starting to see weed resistance all over the country with things like mare's tail, ragweed, lamb's quarters, water hemp, we can keep going on. There are probably 15 to 20 different weeds out there that aren't necessarily resistant, but we seem to be building more tolerance, so we can't take that pint of glyphosate and kill the weeds anymore. Even a quart is struggling. A lot of guys are going to a quart and a half or two quarts now. It's just getting harder. So what's the strategy if we've got broadleaf weeds in our soybeans right now? Should we go out there with just the normal quart of glyphosate, or what are we going to do? <laughs> well, here's a big challenge. To be honest, we got kind of lazy when we got Roundup Ready beans. Well, you know what? Roundup's going to kill them. Even if they get a little bit big, it's no big deal. We can go fishing for this weekend, maybe come back a couple <laughs> days late because, oh, we can always rescue things with Roundup. So all of a sudden we're using that quart of Roundup on weeds that are way off label and pretty soon they're going to start building up tolerance because we aren't completely killing them. So we're right back to two choices. With Roundup resistant weeds, hey, the cat's already out of the bag. You've got to use something other than Roundup to kill them. But here's the other side of it is you may have to get out there with real small weeds if you want your Roundup to work. So now you've got to spray at three or four inch tall weeds instead of letting those weeds get six, eight, 10, 12 inches tall. You just can't do that. So you're either stuck tank mixing when those weeds get a little bit bigger or completely switching your herbicide program. Yep, good advice, but I don't know why you're putting a cat in the bag in the first place. So, <laughs> Well, unfortunately, <laughs> the cat got out of the bag, Brian. <laughs> anyway, if, you, if your soybeans have not emerged yet, or, or maybe you don't have your soybeans planted yet, you can still put a pre-emerge herbicide on, and that is absolutely what we would recommend in every single case, every single soybean field across the United States. Put a pre on. It makes it so much easier. You can use a different mode of action. You'll help prevent the weed resistance, and it'll make it easier for the glyphosate or name brand Roundup to control the weeds later on. But let's say that your soybeans already are up. Let's talk about tank mix partners first. What would be the best tank mix partners with Roundup in soybeans? Okay, well, we're right back to where we were 20 years ago of I can use this to kill these few weeds, but then yep. I've got these other weeds that I've got to mix something in there with. So if you've got Roundup resistant weeds, like let's talk about water hemp. First of all, that's one of the biggest weeds across the upper Midwest. If you've got water hemp and you're not able to kill it with Roundup anymore, you need to put something in there probably that's going to be a little bit hot. Well, my choice would probably be Flexstar. Okay, that's probably about the best thing there. How about lamb's quarters? What could we throw in? Well, Harmony GT is about your only product that really specializes on lamb's quarters. Yep, they've changed the formulation a little bit, but this Harmony is going to ding the beans a little. Okay, how about common ragweed? Well, first rate is your best choice there, but you got to get out there early with yep. these things. Okay. These tank mix partners aren't as good as what Roundup used to Granted. be on these yep. weeds. Okay, velvet leaf. Well, with velvet leaf, there's a few different choices. You can throw resource in there. You could throw cadet in there. You could use some aim, but aim gets kind of harsh on the Yep. There, there's I'd a few different things. I'd probably do resource or cadet. The other thing would be if you had some pursuit or raptor. They're pretty good on, yeah. on velvet leaf too, especially if you get it six inches or less. Okay, how about wild buckwheat? <laughs> well, pursuit's the best, but you got to have it out there really early. Or raptor, pursuit or raptor, I use them the same. Yep, black nightshade. Well, pursuit again, a raptor. Okay, and how about this mare's tail? That's probably the biggest one that most guys are having a problem with all over the country that Roundup just isn't killing. Well, it's a winter annual. It's going to get started early, so it's yep. it's huge by now. If you haven't killed it by now, it's huge. And if you've got mare's tail out there, first rate is probably the best thing on it. Uh, some guys are using a combination of first rate and Flexstar trying to get it, but 
Good luck. You're just going to burn it back and kind of slow it down. Well, I was going to say in our farm where we had the best luck is mixing Flexstar and Classic, the old Classic herbicide. That combination worked the best for us. But again, you got to try to get that early. And if you're already into late May and June before you're spraying mare's tail, it's going to be enormous and you're just not going to kill it with anything. Well, here's the other thing is why are you using Roundup Ready beans anyway? If you've got weeds that are resistant to Roundup and... Because Roundup's cheap. Well, I understand that, but if it doesn't kill any weeds, then what's the yeah, point? Yeah, but it's going to kill weeds. It's going to kill almost all your grasses. Well, oh, you speaking can, of you that... You can clean up the grass with something like a Trefland for three or four bucks, so why you, wouldn't you do that? You can, but if, if you didn't get that down, let's say post-emerge now, you've got uh, resistant Johnson grass or Italian rye grass. Now what are you going to throw in? <laughs> well, here's the thing. <laughs> uh, when we're talking about this, if, you've, if you're having a problem and Roundup is starting to be... Uh, most ineffective on your weed species, at least at the rate that you want to use, why not consider switching to Liberty beans? Liberty's come way down in price, or Ignite has come way down in price, and the Liberty Link trait is in quite a few genetics now, really all throughout the country. Yep, that's a good option. The other thing that I always try to remind people is don't forget, with most Roundup soybeans, you can go up to two quarts of four pound glyphosate, and maybe you want to do that, okay? <laughs> well, and again, now are you really effective? You're spending twice as much money. Maybe it's eight bucks now that you're spending. Yep. Why not just buy the Ignite, kill the weeds the first time and be done? Well, all I'm saying is if you've already got the Roundup beans in the ground, you're stuck for this year. Oh, so, that's true. So it, with a lot of these tank mix partners we've talked about, you may be ahead to just double that glyphosate rate. Just make sure you're staying on label. But uh, that that's a pretty good option in most cases. Well, another weed that uh, you might have to look at something different on is our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to control it coming up later in the show.